Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Bobby Yates. Today we will be finishing the story of Noah and seeing how things turned out for him and his sons. Now let me stress again the importance of subscribing. First it lets you know when new episodes are available and secondly I'm offering bonus subscriber only videos for those of you who subscribe here on YouTube. Don't forget either that if you want to be a guest reader on the show, you have to do is send me a message to the email address which should appear on the screen and I'll send you further details on how you can do that. Now let's do things right, and open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 9 God blessed Noah and his sons and said to them, Be fruitful, multiply and replenish the earth. The fear of you and the dread of you will be on every animal of the earth and on every bird of the sky. Everything that moves along the ground and all the fish of the sea are delivered into your hand. Every moving thing that lives will be food for you. As I gave you the green herb, I have given everything to you. But flesh with its life, that is, its blood, you shall not eat. I will surely require your blood of your lives. At the hand of every animal, I will require it. At the hand of man, even at the hand of every man's brother, I will require the life of a man. Whoever sheds man's blood, his blood will be shed by man. For God made man in his own image. Be fruitful and multiply. Increase abundantly in the earth. And multiply in it. God spoke to Noah, and to his sons with him, saying, as for me, behold, I make my agreements with you, and with your offspring after you, with every living creature that is with you, the birds, the livestock, and every animal of the earth, with you, of all that go out of the ship, every animal of the earth, I will make my agreements with you. All flesh will not be cut off any more by the waters of the flood. There will never again be a flood to destroy the earth. God said, this is the symbol of my promise, which I make between me and you, and every living creature that is with you. For continuing generations, I set my rainbow in the cloud. There will be a sign of agreement between me and the earth. When I bring a cloud over the earth, that the rainbow will be seen in the cloud, and I will remember my promise, which is between me and you, and every living creature of all flesh and the waters will no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. The rainbow will be in the cloud. I will look at it that I may remember the everlasting agreement between God and every living creature of all flesh is on the earth. God said to Noah, This is the symbol of the promise which I have made between me and all flesh that is on the earth. The sons of Noah who went out from the ship were Shem, Ham and Japheth. Am is the father of Canaan. These three were the sons of Noah, and from these the whole earth was populated. Noah began to be a farmer, and planted a vineyard. He drank of the wine and got drunk. He was uncovered within his tent. Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and told his two rulers outside. Shem and Japheth took a garment, and laid it on both their shoulders went in backwards and covered the nakedness of their father. Their faces were backwards, and they didn't see their father's nakedness. Noah awoke from his wine, and knew what his youngest son had done to him. He said, Canaan is cursed. He will be a servant of servants to his brothers. He said, Blessed be Yahweh, the God of Shem. Let Canaan be his servant. May God bless Japheth. Let him dwell in the tent of Shem, let Canaan be his servant. Noah lived 350 years after the flood. For the days of Noah were 950 years, and then he died.
belong There's a distant place You can just find your way Everything you like Singing like a song So sing along But where do you go? You're going to go 